Hey everybody, this is Daniel with LongRangeOnly.com, aka LongShot06. Um, I'm going to start on a series of reviews today um, on the Kestrel uh, 5700 with the applied ballistics in it. Um, this is a very uh, in-depth piece. It has a lot of different features. So what I'm going to kind of do is uh, on the thread when we post this video, if there's a certain aspect of it that you would like me to go over, uh, request it and I'll use that in one of my future ones um, otherwise I'm just going to start out with kind of a an overview and how to start by adding a firearm into the Kestrel and how I verified some drops and things like that to make sure I was on the right track and some bumps along the road that I found in settings that you might encounter as well so let's get started All right, to enter a gun, you go to the bottom down here to manage guns. Um, once you pull that up, you can go right here to new gun. I've already started entering this because it's a little monotonous following along, um, pressing and holding the button to make all this make sense. So you select the, the new gun, and then you go in here and change your gun name. Just up and down, it's pretty simple. I'm sure you guys have all done that kind of stuff before. And uh, typically, I imagine a lot of you guys are coming from a ballistics app. Uh, if you notice, I have Shooter open in the background here. That's the app that I used for this AR-15 that I'm entering here. So I can just follow along. If not, you might have to find this information with, at the range with your rifle and measure your bullets and things like that. But uh, go into, like I said, I'm going to follow along in my uh, Shooter app here. So my muzzle velocity is 2475. I'm using a G1 drag model here. You can go side to side here and change G1, G7, and then there are some custom drag models in the actual Kestrel. There's a ton of them in the actual app. That's the second way I'm going to show you how to enter this thing. I'm still playing with those. They've been a little bit weird for me, so I'm going to wait to draw my full conclusion on that here as I get farther along in these reviews. Um, BC is 0.395. Uh, 75 grain bullet, uh, 224 diameter, it's, like you said, it's AR-15, and bullet length is .988. Again, I had to kind of average that with a bunch of different ones. Zero range, um, 100 yards, that's where I got the gun zeroed. Uh, bore height, um, that is your sight height, so that's where to go there. Two inches there. Now, there's zero offset and zero height. Um, there's a couple different things you can use these for. You know, if you're struggling getting a an app to line up to what your drops are, you can adjust your sight height right here, uh, or excuse me, your zero height. You know, if you're a quarter minute off everywhere, you can change it um, to be in a quarter inch there. Or let's say I've seen heard of some guys using this. You know, if they're using um, sometimes suppressed, sometimes not suppressed, and they're confident enough in the way their gun changes. Um, with or without the suppressor to the same thing every time you can adjust that to offset and height so that you can have different profiles for the same gun same bullet suppressed and not suppressed um, again this this piece has so many different options you I could go on all day but I'm trying to keep this short and sweet and to the point um, and then your twist rate that's uh, one and eight twist in that gun I got there it's a right hand twist um, another thing I like to keep handy is the manual to this there's a ton of different um, abbreviations in this little guy. Obviously, a little bitty screen, so I keep this thing pretty close. Um, one of those being SMOA. The first time I saw it, I'm like, what are they talking about here? They got uh, uh, shooter MOA and true MOA. And then, of course, mill and then click. The true MOA of being, you know, the 1.047. So if you're getting into the extreme long range stuff like we do with our big 338s, that's something that you probably want to take advantage of there. This gun, I. It's, again, just an AR-15 that I'm going to use from coyote hunting and some plinking. So I just keep it the uh, the shooter's MOA. That's going to be the one inch at 100 yards. Nothing too technical there. Same with the winded unit. Um, and then this also has, is if you guys ever, um, 
like we did we when we started into this we were using the uh night force app in a pda a little dell pda and they had a trajectory validation option to where you know you plugged in your velocity that you got off your chronograph you went out and you shot and let's say you were an inch and a half high um you could tell the app what you actually were high and it would uh, automatically adjust your velocity to match that um i think there's been some better ways of getting that validation done over the years but anyway this still has this built in so for example if that same thing happens you can go in here and uh, tell it what it took you know where your actual drop was things like that and it'll automatically adjust your um, your velocity so kind of a neat feature there you know it takes all the math out of it if you've ever had to play with a ballistic app and you're uh, you know just on every five feet per second until you actually get your drop to match what the gun actually required um, again as long as you're within a quarter minute unless you're consistently a quarter minute off I wouldn't be messing with it just because there's gonna be a lot of human error and things like that going in there so as long as I hit within a quarter minute um, I'm gonna be pretty happy especially at distance so once you get that thing entered, you're ready to rock and roll. So you can go in here. Um, I've already got a target at 300 yards set up. Again, one of those things that bump along the road that I ran into was this right here. This uh, You see these triple zero degree. Um, what that is, is there's a few things actually. There's direction of fire um, and degree. And then there's also the cosine and things like that. It had a measurement in there, and I was messing with this, messing with it, messing with it, and I couldn't figure it out. I had the spin drift taken out, had all this stuff taken out. Well, that's that's your Coriolis stuff. So it was it was calling for like 0.18 windage, and I'm just trying to match it to my app, and I'm like, why is it calling for this wind? So again, bump along the way, take all that out. I actually had to look it up online as how to take it out. You just bring it down to zero degree, and it, it takes all that... Uh, that math out of it so it kind of just dumbs it down to just a simple elevation drop um so right now you see at 300 yards again i can adjust my yardage right here like this pretty simple um 300 yards with these conditions so uh, i've got those already entered into my phone here calculate my phone is calling for kind of hold it up here 5.4 moa i'm gonna obviously gonna round that up to a five and a half minute call and then the kestrel is calling for 5.68 so it's calling for a little bit more uh, there's obviously going to be your algorithms difference between shooter and kestrel so until i go out and validate which one's correct uh, with these conditions i'm not gonna draw any conclusions that's close enough for me especially at 300 yards with a 223 um, that's obviously getting to probably pretty close to the max of what you want to be doing with that gun um, i have played with that thing out to 600 yards but either way i'm gonna go out and validate that i know i'm on the right track here um sorry i guess that was a little high uh, I know I'm on the right track there, and I got this thing going the way I want it to, so I can take it out to the range and update it. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on the app and the phone. So we're going to set that to the side. I've got the app right here. Um, gun profile management, just kind of like on the. Uh, let's see if I can get this all in the field of view of the camera here. Um, just like on the phone. So what I'm going to do is just press the little plus button at the top here. And then I can go into the name and just AR15. And then you just follow the prompts, you know, just point two two four, and go through all this stuff. Now, once you're done with that, again, you can adjust your, your units and things like that. Once you're done with that, click save. And then you have to get your Bluetooth connected. So... The way you do that is device selection here on the main page. And this is, I, I assume you're only going to have one of these units. So this is the AB unit I'm using. And then when you go into your gun profiles, you're going to hit the select button at the top. And you can select different profiles. So you can add, I think they t set a total of seven at a time you can add into the, into the, the Kestrel. But you just select the ones you want to add. So you select that there. And then you hit send profile. And that's going to send that profile right over to the gun. It just takes a few seconds and it'll update. 
and then it'll be again that, that if you like rather use your phone than to scroll through this and things like that you can do that as well um, another thing you can do that is kind of neat once you have all this kind of set up is I'm gonna go because I got this on both sides here I'm going to go to my terminator Oop. So I'm going to go to single target on the app. Should be still connected here. 100 yards. Yes, 100 yards, zero. So I can just go right here and add another zero. 1,000 yards. And right there, it goes up to 19.35 minutes. <coughs> so, again, you, you can use both of these if you want to. I'm kind of on the page where I'm, I'm trying to eliminate a piece of gear I got to carry with me, especially, I mean, I know a lot of us carry our phones for cameras and things like that, but uh, I'm trying to get rid of things that I got to carry into the field. So the way this is set up right now, I carry the Kestrel, I got my wind meter in it, I got everything I need to go to the range right here, I got everything I need to go to hunting right here, I don't have to take that extra piece. So I think that's kind of the whole point here. Um, Again, I'm on this thread, I want you to ask questions or if there's something else you want to see, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to kind of go through it. But there's a lot of stuff to learn on here. Check us out on longrangeonly.com. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Follow us in either one of those. Click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Um, like I said, a lot more to come with this. Hope to hear from you. Get out there and get shooting, guys.